Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome. My name is Chris Trasillo. I'm the chief of police here at New Jersey Transit, and I'd like to uh, welcome you all here, uh, in particular Ed and Bob, uh, Ray Kenny's brothers, and his family and friends who uh, managed to navigate the roadways and find this uh, wonderful facility, what we affectionately call the MMC. Uh, while I'm up here, I'd also like to introduce to my left our CEO and President, Mr. Kevin Corbett, and the Acting uh, Senior Vice President and GM of Rail Operations, James Sincaglia. And Jimmy, I, I want to thank you personally for allowing us to have this ceremony here. Appreciate it very much. Uh, to my right is Deputy Chief Ed Iandoli. To his right is police officer and master trainer Edward Joes. And to his right uh, are our guest of honor, so also uh, Sergeant Keith DeLuca and uh, K-9 Kenny uh, to our right. And to uh, the members of uh, the senior staff of rail who are present, I want to thank you also for uh, allowing us to use your facility today. I think it's appropriate that it be here. I think it's appropriate when we remember and honor Ray uh, that it be in a rail facility uh, for obvious reasons. And it gives me uh, great pleasure and it's an honor for me to introduce now our president and CEO, Kevin Corbett. Uh, thank you, Chief, and thank everyone for uh, coming today. Uh, I would uh, just echo the Chief's comments. I really want to thank the Chief. Uh, he came up with the ideas, and you know, we were saying, what could we do to, to honor Ray? And uh, we had some, some ideas, and he, he came up, and the PD came up saying, you know, we have this opportunity. And it, uh, certainly, uh, when you heard it, it was like, it was per you know, perfect. Uh, Jimmy and everyone in the rail department. Uh, certainly, Ray was not. Uh, if you look at his whole career, it was mainly Long Island Railroad. You know, born and raised. Uh, and uh, but you talk about a true railroader who really loved the industry and gave tremendous uh, amount to the a a industry without ever looking for anything uh, back. Always very concerned with safety uh, and uh, you know caring about you know the passengers, you know the people, the riders, you know going back and forth from work, what it meant to them and their, their lives, and you know providing that service, knowing that whether it was Long Island Railroad or when he came over to New Jersey Transit, you're going to get your knocks, but just keep trying to, you know, keep your eye focused on the target. And uh, I was talking to Eddie uh, uh, earlier, just saying, you know, in those closing days where we thought Ray was going to be bouncing back, you know, the reports were, were good. But, uh, you know, the, uh, with, with, with Ray, that dry sense of humor is, uh, is something just, you know, I, you know, I can just imagine Ray right now saying, oh, Christ, Corbett, I, I go and you, leave, you let the place go to the dogs. I mean, there's <laughs> nothing like that. Um, uh, but also, uh, I should thank, uh, again, Deputy Chief Iandoli, uh, Officer uh, Szczesny, and uh, uh, particularly Master Trainer Joes for, uh, you know, being here. And I think they're all part of coming up with, with the idea. Um, I would say that when Ray did join, uh, you know, it was in uh, January 2019, I had just come over. I think everybody knew New Jersey Transit was uh, like many railroads we've seen since really, and you know, if Ray would hear, he could give you the whole history back to, you know, the Golden Spike. But uh, really, you know, since the railroad industry went to freight and where the passenger really went over to the public sector, it's always been ups and downs and cycles. And, uh, you know, I think uh, Ray was so loved over on the New York side of the river, but he had that reputation, worked for a lot of people here. So when I got him to come over, we said, you know, uh, th this, we have a lot of, uh, there's been a long period of disinvestment, a lot of things that had to be turned around in New Jersey Transit. And we had a crisis of a positive train control, which was existential threat. And, you know, Ray, we talked about that, and, uh, you know, he was a, a, a workhorse, not a show pony. And it really, we just uh, hunkered down and at a critical period in uh, New Jersey Transit history, Ray was such a level, uh, steady hand there. So, uh, you know, um, incredible wealth of knowledge on, 
a whole range of subjects, whether it be from the Supreme Court or if I needed a, some legal opinion, I'd, pro I'd probably call, right? Uh, as I was telling Bob, we were sort of joking that uh, uh, we used to say in meetings that, you know, Ray had more degrees in the, in, than a thermometer uh, when I'd introduce him. Uh, yeah, I think, Bob, you said he spent more years in school after graduating from college than he did than you did <laughs> the whole time. Or, yeah. <laughs> um, but, you know, just it's amazing, you know, and, and just such a, uh, such a humble man, though. Uh, so really, uh, you know, his sense of service and uh, humility really uh, it left a deep mark in New Jersey, uh, you know, a, as well. And uh, set a really uh, good standard now that we've, we've turned the corner, we're coming back strong and, uh, you know, long ways to go, but you have race at that standard, which is something that will stick, uh, stick with us for a long time. And certainly sticking us with hopefully a long time is also his uh, uh, namesake. Uh, you know, I think uh, really is a fitting tri uh, tribute, uh, you know, that sense of uh, dedicated quiet service, you know, loyalty. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I'm sure, uh, you know, uh, canine Kenny won't bite, but, you know, I'm sure if pushed uh, hard enough, you know, they, <laughs> you know, they know how to show teeth and Ray was never afraid, you know, uh, you know very level-headed, but if, he, if something was not right, he was uh, one to stand up for it. So, uh, uh, really, it's, uh, I think, uh, you know, dogs are known to be man's best friend, uh, you know, and uh, I would say that uh, Ray certainly valued friendship. Uh, and I think of, uh, you know, couldn't think of a better way really to help keep the legacy and keep his, uh, his name uh, going on for so many of us here and for the family. So glad you could make it out here. And for, you know, for Ray's colleagues who are here as well. Uh, we had a lot of fun with him here and it's uh, a measure of a person that, you know, is uh, not necessarily all the years of your life, but what you do with it. And Ray certainly did a tremendous amount. So uh, we hope in this small way, uh, you know, uh, to honor him, uh, it helps sort of give a little, a little uh, closure as uh, you know, as we uh, you know look on beyond. But to know that you know the the pooch will always be here for the Kenny family. So uh, you know, he carries on at New Jersey Transit. So uh, Chief, uh, with that, I think uh, Jim, uh, would you like to come up and uh, say a, word, a few words on behalf of the department? Thank you, Kevin, and uh, thanks everybody for joining us today. So it was very exciting when Ray joined us at New Jersey Transit. You know, Ray was a, a true railroad professional, but what Ray really was is he loved the railroad. Right? He truly loved what he did. And what I remember the most and what's most impactful to me is Ray came in here to teach us and to help us and to mentor us. And his goal was to make us better, not only make the organization better. I mean, he could have came in and fixed things himself, but his goal was to look to us, build us up to make us all better, and to help build New Jersey Transit that way. A um, few months ago, you know, we stood here and celebrated the making the milestone for PTC. That was all um, due to, to raise structure, and all the foundation he put down in the time he was here to make sure we would make that. Um, but I think what I remember most about Ray, and everybody kind of mentions it, is his sense of humor. Um, he would always start the day off. We have a morning call every day. He would always start the day off with a joke before we would open up the line. And I think he did that. The railroad's very stressful, right? We have a stressful job, and he knew that adding that humor um, would lighten that mood a little bit and keep everybody you know, feeling good. Um, I remember he was telling me a story. He had to drive here one day for a meeting, and from Newark to the MMC is about six miles. And he told me, uh, he goes, I, I took about 35 miles to get here, he says, and I realized I was in trouble when I passed Giant Stadium three times. Um, and the other thing with Ray is, you know, Ray had, you know, over 45 years on a railroad. Ray started his career when I was two. Um, and it's very impressive to have that much experience here, and I have 25 years. And that's, that's also just, you know, very impressive. Um, and the other thing, Ray never got an opportunity to retire from New Jersey Transit. And one of the traditions you have on a railroad is when somebody retires, we have the, you know, all the trains in the area blow their horns in honor. So I'd like to take the opportunity now to have all the trains in the vicinity of the MMC uh, blow their horns in honor of Ray. So let's all take a moment to honor Ray 
And uh, Alex, could you please make the call uh, to begin? Now I'll turn it back over to Chief. Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, I noticed that Ray's Chief of Staff, Patty Sciano, is here. I want everybody to know that Patty originally was a police employee, but the railroad stole her from us. So, and Patty was a, a great help to Ray, and, uh, I, I, and uh, I wanted to just mention that. Uh, the number one mission of the New Jersey Transit Police is counterterrorism, right? We're coming up on the 20th anniversary of 9-11 and so much water has gone under the bridge that sometimes we have a tendency not to realize that and forget. And uh, we can never forget. We're in the shadow of the World Trade Center. We have a statewide rail transportation system. We know rail is very much a, uh, a target. And one of the key defenses we use is our K-9. We have 15 K-9 uh, dogs that protect our system. And they are probably the best trained dogs uh, anywhere in the state. Uh, I'm real proud that, uh, and I'll embarrass them, but we have a master trainer in the world of K-9. That's the highest certification you can have. He's trained 178 dogs. Police officer Ed Joes, Ed, can you stand up for a second? Thank you. And uh, the boss said that uh, I had the idea, well let me tell you the ethos of the idea about how to name the canines. I was in a meeting with my chiefs and uh, on our screens in our office uh, every month our IT department puts what's important for the month. It may be uh, Black Heritage Month or Women's Month or it was St. Patty's Day in March and we saw the big green screen which I know Ray would have appreciated. So I said to my team because we were getting two new canine, I said let's talk about what we can do that might be meaningful when we name the dogs. You know sometimes we'll acquiesce to the uh, to the officer who has a particular idea for a name and the K-9 name, um, according to uh, what Ed has taught me, has to be a name that can be recognized, you know, not too many syllables. So Deputy Chief Iandoli, without hesitation, said, Chief, why don't we name the dogs after a couple employees we lost? And boy, it was instant. I mean, it was instant. Yes, that's what we're going to do. But for me, it was instant that one of those dogs was going to be named after my colleague, my friend, your brother, uh, Ray Kenny. Uh, I remember when I first met Ray. You know, New Jersey Transit goes as New Jersey Transit Rail goes. There's nobody from the bus division here. I don't want to get in trouble. But if the railroad's doing well, transit's doing well. So when Ray was coming on board 
boy, he, he, he was so important. And when I first met him, I had the honor of being a direct report to our president, so it's a small group. And you meet every week and you work together. And uh, mostly everybody from transit knows on the seventh floor, we have a big room in the police department. It's called the Comstat Room. And whenever we have a special event, or a hot wash after event, or we're planning for an event, we'll meet in this big room, the Comstat Room, and it's, oh, it's a, it's a big long table. So since I came, I got in the habit, I have a big candy jar and I put Hershey's Kisses in that jar. And if you look at the transit employees, they're probably not in their heads because they know that jar. So I'll never forget the first time we had a meeting. It was cross-pollinated with everybody from across the agency. And here's Ray came in and he sat right next to that jar. So, you know, the boss is there and Jimmy's there and all the people from rail and bus and our Office of Emergency Management. And, and I was surprised to learn that Ray, your brother, had such a background in emergency management. I figured, oh, he's, he's a railroad guy. <laughs> no, he knew emergency management. He knew the importance of it. He had relationships with the police who I knew on the other side who had already called over and said, Chris, you're getting a great person in Ray Kenny. We never had a better partner. So back to the story, like Jimmy talked about what Ray loved. So I'll tell you a secret about something else Ray loved. So we're going on with the meeting and boy, a pile of tin foil was building up right in front of Ray. He loved them Hershey kisses, so I had to make sure. I told my assistant, Chris Sinicki, whenever we have Ray down here, please make sure that that candy jar is full. But to Jimmy's point, in a, in a very quiet and humble way, everything he said mattered. Every input he gave, and he never gave it uh, with the authority his 45 years could have carried. He always gave it in a humble and uh, respectful way. And uh, that's what I remember most about your brother, your friend, uh, your uncle is what a gentleman he was. He was most times the most knowledgeable man in the room, but he never acted like he was the most knowledgeable man in the room. And he was always very helpful to me personally, helping me understand the railroad. You know, I've been here 10 years now and there's so much I've learned and yet I recognize there's so much I don't know about the railroad and he knew it all and he was always kind to explain what came easy to him but was difficult for me so I'll always be respectful and appreciative of him so now we get to our guest of honor and that's why to me one of our new canines you know in the police department I came from the Port Authority and after 9-11 you hear the term never forget to a police department, a fire department that has special meaning. Uh, we don't ever want to forget here at New Jersey Transit those we've lost during this pandemic. So it was an easy call uh, to name our newest canine, Kenny, after your brother, your uncle, our colleague, Ray Kenny. So with that, I'd ask uh, Sergeant Keith DeLuca uh, Kenny's partner and handler to come forward and I'd ask again uh, our president and CEO Kevin Corbett and our acting SVP um, Jim Sincaglia and we have another SVP here that always sits in the back but the person whose team puts everything together 
Anthony Greco, the Senior Vice President of Public Affairs. Anthony, thank you for always setting everything up and appreciate it. And I'll turn it over to the boss to, for a proclamation. Do we have, we have the, uh, do we have Daniela the proclamation? Yes, sir. And one of the biggest brothers. Yeah, come on up. And yeah. I would say we have uh, some proclamations, and what I'd ask, uh, you know, uh, Ed, Bob, you want to come up? We'll have one for each of you. Um, and I'll uh, maybe I'll take the time. It's not that long just to read it before we uh, hand it and hand it over and have a shot. But uh, um, whereas Ray Kenny enjoyed a long and distinguished railroad career in the public and private sectors, and whereas Ray joined New Jersey Transit on January 2019 as Senior Vice President and General Manager of Rail Operations after nearly 50 years with Long Island Railroad and WSP, and whereas Ray's incredible reputation and experience in the industry were unparalleled, his leadership, mentorship, and incredible wealth of railroad knowledge enabled him to make a positive impact on the organization he worked for and for those he surrounded himself with throughout his career. And whereas the New Jersey Transit Police Department sought to honor a New Jersey Transit Rail Operation employee who lost as a result of, who we lost as a result of COVID-19 related complications. And whereas K-9 Kenny will now serve New Jersey Transit customers and employees as an explosive detection and mass transit counterterrorism dog with his partner, Sergeant Keith DeLuca. Therefore, be it resolved on this date Tuesday, April 6, 2021, we commemorate the naming of K-9 Kenny in Ray's honor. On the end? Yeah, maybe right. Yeah.